Hello, my name is Randy Leopa, and I'm the superintendent of Bloomfield Hill Schools. Since joining the school system, I have been so impressed with the community support and the wonderful opportunities provided here to students in Bloomfield. We have a lot to be proud of. I want to take this opportunity to provide you with information about a ballot proposal that residents will have the ability to vote on Tuesday, November 7th. The district has benefited from the support of the community for an ongoing source of revenue specifically used for repair and renovation for our facilities, which is known as the sinking fund. The proposal is for a property tax millage originally passed in 2005 at 1.5 mills and renewed by voters on two different occasions, once in 2014 at 0.74 mills and once in 2018 at 0.71 mills. So this is not a new millage, but rather a renewal of an existing property tax that expires this year. The millage is for a sinking fund a special millage that generates funding that can only be used for renovation and repair of school properties. The sinking fund is different and separate from the 2020 bond issue. This was passed to make major updates to our K-12 classrooms, along with supporting changes to our grade configurations and our building configurations. The purpose of this sinking fund is to allow the district to continue ongoing renovations and keep our schools functional. The sinking fund is used by many school districts so they can specifically focus their operating budgets on providing educational programs for students and not facilities. Before putting this renewal on the ballot, the Bloomfield Hills Board of Education spent the entire 2022-23 school year studying the need for an ongoing sinking fund. It was clear that school facilities would still need added repair and renovation into the future. The request is for three years, at which time the Board of Education will again reassess the district's facility needs. The renewal would generate about $3.4 million annually to be invested in our infrastructure. How much does this cost a taxpayer? For example, a homeowner whose house is worth $300,000 who would currently be paying $125 a year with this particular millage would continue to pay this amount if the millage is renewed. The total millage for our sinking fund and for our bonded debt for facilities and improvements is 3.5 mills and this is lower than the county average of six mills. This past millage renewal funded projects such as safety and security improvements, roofing repairs, site work like drain grading and parking lot improvements, emergency repairs such as boiler replacement, water main breaks, and site erosion issues, the replacement of sun exterior doors, and also updating playground equipment. Future projects could include items such as additional parking lot improvements, more security for our schools, added infrastructure improvements like replacement of doors and roof repairs, property improvements such as fixing site erosion and making improvements around wetlands. So I want to summarize. Here's the important information I want our school community to know. This sinking fund is on the ballot for Tuesday, November 7th, 2023. It would be no increase. It is a renewal of 0.6976 mills, and it will allow the school system to continue to make needed repairs and renovations to school sites without taking resources out of the instructional programs and classrooms. So please vote on November 7th, 2023.